Immerse yourself in the green heart of gardening as we explore the fascinating world of fertilizers. Picture a seed, a sleeping promise, awakening into life and reaching out for the sun. Now, imagine it bolstered by the power of carefully chosen fertilizers, growing into a lush, vibrant plant. This captivating transformation isn't magic, but science. Fertilizers, nature's growth enhancers, hold the power to transform your garden, but how do they work? Let's delve into the captivating realm of organic and synthetic fertilizers and unveil their mysteries. Fertilizers come in two main types, organic and synthetic, but what's the difference, you may ask? Well, let's dive right into it. Organic fertilizers are naturally occurring substances, derived from plants, animals, or mineral deposits. They include materials like compost, manure, and bone meal. These organic sources are rich in essential nutrients that plants need to thrive. They release their nutrients slowly, over time, as they are broken down by soil microbes. This slow release allows the plants to absorb nutrients at a natural pace, promoting steady healthy growth. In contrast, synthetic fertilizers are man-made and designed to deliver nutrients to plants quickly and efficiently. They're often presented in a uniform, pellet-like form and are produced through industrial processes that combine various chemical elements. The most common elements found in synthetic fertilizers are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, often referred to as the NPK ratio you see on fertilizer packaging. These synthetic fertilizers are engineered to release their nutrients at a controlled pace, which can be tailored to the specific needs of different plants. This means that gardeners can use synthetic fertilizers to deliver a quick nutrient boost to their plants, enhancing growth in a short period. But it's not all roses, there are also potential drawbacks to consider. Organic fertilizers, while beneficial for improving soil structure and promoting long-term plant health, can be slower to show results. They also require a larger volume to deliver the same amount of nutrients compared to synthetic fertilizers. Synthetic fertilizers on the other hand while fast-acting and easy to use, can lead to nutrient runoff if overused. This can have negative impacts on local water sources and the wider environment. Additionally, they don't contribute to the long-term health of the soil in the same way organic fertilizers do. So, you see, when it comes to fertilizers, there's a lot to consider. It's all about understanding the needs of your plants, the health of your soil, and your personal gardening goals. Whether organic or synthetic, each type of fertilizer has unique benefits and potential drawbacks. Organic fertilizers are nature's gift to gardeners, here's why. These fertilizers are derived from living organisms like compost, manure, and bone meal, providing a rich source of nutrients for your plants. But it's not just about feeding your plants, it's also about feeding your soil. Organic fertilizers improve the structure of your soil, making it healthier and more fertile. They increase the soil's ability to hold water, reducing the need for constant watering and making your garden more drought-resistant. In addition, organic fertilizers encourage the development of healthy root systems, they provide a slow and steady source of nutrients, allowing plants to feed at their own pace. This promotes strong, robust growth and reduces the chance of burning your plants with a sudden influx of nutrients, something that can happen with synthetic fertilizers. But like all things in life, organic fertilizers come with their own set of challenges. For starters, they're typically slower acting than their synthetic counterparts. This means they take longer to deliver visible results, which might test the patience of some gardeners. Also because they are derived from natural sources, their nutrient content can vary, making it harder to ensure your plants are getting exactly what they need. There's also the effort involved in creating or sourcing organic fertilizers. Composting at home, for instance, requires time, space, and a bit of know-how. And while buying organic fertilizers is an option, they can be more expensive than synthetic versions. Despite these challenges, many gardeners swear by organic fertilizers. They love the idea of nourishing their garden in a way that's in tune with nature, creating a cycle of growth and renewal that's sustainable and environmentally friendly. And there's something deeply satisfying about turning kitchen scraps into nutritious compost that feeds your plants and helps them thrive. Organic fertilizers are a natural way to nourish your plants but they're not the only option. As we'll see in the next section, synthetic fertilizers have their own set of benefits and drawbacks, and understanding these can help you make the best choice for your garden. Synthetic fertilizers offer precision and power, let's understand why. These fertilizers are like a tailor-made suit for your plants. Each pellet is packed with specific nutrients, designed to deliver exactly what your plants need, when they need it. 
This controlled release of nutrients gives synthetic fertilizers their quick-acting powers. Imagine you're planting tomatoes. They need a lot of phosphorus to produce fruit, but not all soils naturally have enough. Enter synthetic fertilizers. They can deliver a precise dose of phosphorus right on schedule to help your tomato plants thrive. And it's not just about the nutrients. The uniform appearance of synthetic fertilizer pellets is a testament to their consistency. Each pellet contains the same balance of nutrients, ensuring that every plant gets its fair share. But don't let the small size of these pellets fool you. They're incredibly concentrated, providing a powerful nutrient boost in a compact package. This makes synthetic fertilizers easy to store, easy to transport, and easy to apply. You don't need a wheelbarrow or a strong back, just a scoop and a watering can. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Synthetic fertilizers are potent, and it's easy to give your plants too much of a good thing. Overfertilization can lead to nutrient runoff, a major environmental concern. It can pollute waterways, harm aquatic life, and even contaminate drinking water. And while synthetic fertilizers can deliver a quick nutrient boost, they don't do much to improve soil structure or water retention. In fact, over time, they can actually degrade soil quality. So, while synthetic fertilizers offer a quick and easy way to feed your plants, it's important to use them responsibly. They can be a valuable tool in your gardening toolkit, but they're not a one-size-fits-all solution. Understanding the strengths and weaknesses of synthetic fertilizers can help you use them to their fullest potential, while also protecting the environment and the long-term health of your garden. Synthetic fertilizers can give your plants a quick boost, but it's essential to use them responsibly. Embrace sustainability by creating your own organic fertilizer at home. Now this might sound like a daunting task, but it's actually a fun, easy, and effective way to recycle kitchen waste into nutrient-rich compost for your garden. Let's start with the basics. You'll need a compost bin or a designated compost area in your backyard. This is where the magic happens as your kitchen scraps transform into a gardener's gold over time. So what can go into this compost bin? Think of it as a vegetarian's paradise. Fruit and vegetable peels, coffee grounds, tea bags, and even eggshells are all fair game. These green materials are rich in nitrogen, which is key for plant growth. Now you also need some brown materials to balance things out. These could be fallen leaves, shredded paper, or small twigs. Brown materials are high in carbon, which helps with the compost structure and provides energy for the composting microorganisms. The secret to a successful compost pile is maintaining a good balance between these green and brown materials. A general rule of thumb is to aim for a ratio of three parts brown to one part green. Next, you'll need to turn or mix your compost pile every couple of weeks. This helps to aerate the pile and speeds up the decomposition process. Remember, patience is key here. It might take a few months, but eventually your compost pile will transform into a rich, crumbly material that smells like earth. This is your homemade organic fertilizer ready to enrich your garden soil and boost your plant's growth. And there you have it. Not only have you reduced your kitchen waste, but you've also created a valuable resource for your garden. Plus, there's something incredibly satisfying about this process, seeing how your everyday waste can be transformed into something so beneficial for your garden. Creating your own organic fertilizer is a simple and satisfying way to connect with nature. Choosing the right fertilizer depends on your garden's needs and your environmental considerations. Gardening, like any other passion, is about making the right choices. And when it comes to fertilizers, the choice isn't black and white. It's a spectrum of options, each with its own merits and considerations. Let's talk about organic fertilizers. They're a great choice if you're aiming for a slow and steady nurturing of your plants. They improve the soil structure, increase water retention, and foster healthy root development. Organic fertilizers are also a sustainable choice, reducing waste while enriching your garden. But remember, they take time to work, and their nutrient content can be variable. On the other hand, synthetic fertilizers offer precision and quick action. If your plants need a nutrient boost fast, synthetic fertilizers can come to the rescue. They're easy to use and can be tailored to your plant's specific needs, but they come with a caveat. Overuse can lead to nutrient runoff and environmental concerns. So, which one should you choose? Well, it comes down to your garden's needs, your patience, and your environmental ethos. Are you in a rush or can you afford to wait for nature to take its course? Do you want precision or are you okay with a bit of unpredictability? Are you looking for a sustainable solution or is convenience your top priority? Remember the best fertilizer for your garden is one that meets your plant's needs and aligns with your gardening goals.